As the Earth spins through the dark void of space, it turns on its axis, giving us the cycle of night and day. But there's another planetary cycle that affects us all just as profoundly, although it is much, much slower. This is the wobble of the Earth, known more scientifically as its axial precession. This wobble is caused by the gentle gravitational tug of the other planets in our solar system, and it changes the angle of the planet's tilt by about one degree every 72 years until it tilts a full 23 degrees each way. This cycle lasts for over 25,000 years, and this tilt can have some extreme effects on the climate on the planet's surface. Over the last 8,000 years or so, one of these effects has been to shift the pattern of monsoon rains on the African continent, pushing them southward and creating an enormous dry zone in its northern region. This has created one of Earth's most impressive geographic features, the Sahara Desert. The Sahara is a vast ocean of sand dunes, rock plateaus and salt flats that covers an area totaling 9 million square kilometers. This desert makes up around 30% of the entire African continent. But until about 5,000 years ago, these bare sand dunes were rolling green grasslands. The landscape was broken by rivers and huge lakes that supported late Stone Age human communities. Sparse forests grew here, full of oak and walnut, lime and olive trees. Rock paintings have even been discovered in the central Sahara that date to around the year 3000 BC and depict lush vegetation and abundant animals in areas where today there's nothing but desert. But as the planet tilted on its endless cycle, this landscape's days were numbered. The rains gradually left the region. The large plant life would have died off first until only grasses remained. And then eventually, the grass too would have died. Without plant cover to absorb the heat of the sun, or roots to hold together the earth, the topsoil would have dried up and blown away in the wind. Slowly, these green valleys turned into arid grasslands, then to desert, and finally to the enormous Sahara that we know today. Neolithic people fled from the steady advance of this great desert. It drove them out of the Sahara.